अनुभव कहता है हमको अनुभव कहता है हमको खुद अपनी गलती देखो खुद अपनी गलती देखो दूसरों की गलती न देखो दूसरों की गलती न देखो बोल है तो सजा खुद बोगो बोल है तो सजा खुद बोगो यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस हिंदी हां हिंदी तो पता है आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड यस हां बट यू कैन स्पीक Yeah. Uh, okay, but you can understand. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. But this, this part, this singing, you can understand. Oh yeah, I can understand. Good, good. मुझे बस. हाँ हाँ हाँ. तो आपको हिंदी कैसे आती है? मैं तो पढ़ा था दस दसवीं तक भी ही पढ़ा था. चल पहुँच. क्योंकि बैंगलोर में और हाँ हाँ बहुत सारे स्कूल्स पढ़ा था तो सेंट्रल कॉम में. अनुभव कहता है हमको. अनुभव कहता है हमको खुद अपनी गलती देखो खुद अपनी गलती देखो छोटो पर बड़ो ने क्रोध किया छोटो पर बड़ो दूसरों की गलती न देखो 
we find faults of others oh. and yes. we complain for others, we find faults of others, bad material, look, everything, thing. we have no favorite thing. But, we, <coughs> but if you want to progress on the path <coughs> of liberation, the rule is different. See your own faults. And when you see your own fault and you are pinching for that fault, you are asking forgiveness for that fault, then what, what is the nature of the fault? If you nurture the fault, if you protect the fault, it will remain inside and it will expand. And uh, if, you do, if you ask for forgiveness, if you don't agree with that fault, then slowly, slowly it will go from inside. And when you are completely faultless, the God within you will be fully unveiled. Chum chone se thako chada diya Chum chone se thako chada diya Phir apna kama nikal liya 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 Hai maan maha satru khud ka Oh, 
आप दोनों को अवेयरनेस है ना मैं सुधा को को पांच आज्ञा याद है ना हाँ थोड़े और आपको आपको भी थोड़ा सा आप तो रहा लेंगे हमें क्यों दूसरों की गलती दिखते हम तो जैसे वितरा दे तो क्या करें सही बात है नहीं दिखती है अपनी भी पर जब पर पहले तो जैसे दूसरे की जैसे बच्चों ने कुछ भी हाँ शीरों से हर हस्बैंड ओनली नो जाते हैं इन इंग्लिश हाँ आई थिंक आप तो यू आर फ्रॉम एमपी साइड से नहीं 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 जम्पशिप पूछा जम्पशिप हाँ जम्पशिप हाँ मैं साउथ इंडिया में फ्रॉम कोयम्बटूर हाँ साउथ इंडिया में साउथ इंडिया ना हाँ वो पहली बार मिला था तो यार फर्स्ट टाइम जब मेरा कैंप था फर्स्ट टाइम मेट मेट दैट टाइम तो आई रिमेम्बर फर्स्ट टाइम 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 वो क्या आप हिंदी में कोई हिंदी में बात निकलेगी ना सीधा इंग्लिश में पूछते हैं क्या तो फिर इंग्लिश में बात करेंगे वो क्या मुझे भी ध्यान में रहे ना कि किसी को हिंदी नहीं आती है पर यू हैव दैट अवेयरनेस आई एम प्योर सोल आई एम प्योर ओ गुड एंड यू रिमेम्बर दैट फाइव प्रिसेप्ट्स that by relative point you are you are open by real you point you are pure soul oh you are doing mantra by the soul oh. but you say it's really very important by remaining in that five agnyas five dictates 
your remaining goal will be achieved. So that way is very important. So remain in his touch and ask him whether oh, now this is the problem. Yeah. He can guide you because he met Dada born when he was very young. Like uh, even younger than I am. So what was your question? My question is why we always see others' mistake, not our mistake. Hmm. You see, the basic thing, okay, why we see others' mistakes and we don't see our mistake. Because in that uh, pod, it was said that when uh, see our own mistake and don't see others' mistakes. If you want to progress on the path of liberation, see your own mistakes, don't see others' mistakes. Now she is asking, but why we are seeing others' mistakes, not just seeing our own mistake? It's a basic fundamental question. You see, when you see somebody's fault, when they do something, when they do something, mm-hmm. means we have belief that he, the person is doing. Okay. Mm. Correct. The belief of doership that I am doing and he is doing. Because of that doership belief, you will find faults of other people. Before we were telling that God is, everything is in God's hands, nothing in my hands. When something wrong happens, we say, what I can do, nothing in my hands. And something good, then I did it. Mm. <laughs> so, when you say everything is in God's hands, doing is then good. the other person, whatever he is doing, also in God's it is also in God's hands. So, you can't blame that person. So, with the knowledge we are having, with that also, we can't say anybody's fault. But what we do, when something favorable is there, we say, I am doer. Yes. And something wrong happened, it's in God's hands. So we are on both sides. But if we come on one side, we can progress. So if we both, uh, if we believe both are uh, wrong and good or done by us, and then also you progress. Okay. And if you think that everything is in God's hands, then also you will progress. But, but both the things are not right. Okay. Not accepted. It's a one step. Either you believe that you are doer or you believe that God is doer. When you believe that you are doer, that means whatever wrong or right you do, you are whole and soul responsible. Hmm. For right thing, okay. you enjoy credit. And for wrong thing, you enjoy. Oh, I did. I did wrong. Accept it and go ahead. And if you <coughs> want to put everything on God's, God's head, then say everything, everything God is doing. Hmm. So you are doing business, you did good profit. Don't say, oh, it's my planning. Because of my planning, I am doing profit. At that time, also keep in your mind that I am not doing profit, it is in God's hands. If somebody insults you, then what will happen? We say the person insulted me. But now you have to believe that God is doing everything. So God is making that person instrumental to insult you. So it is not the fault of any person. 
then you will see everybody innocent and when you will see everybody innocent you will progress on path of religion path of liberation but generally as a human being and especially being indian when something good is there immediately we will will take it no i did it even in family also yes in friend circle in social everywhere in job also in business also something good happened then i'm we are ready to taste it oh i did it and something wrong happened we don't like that bitter taste so we put that cap on somebody else oh god did it or or say you are not believing everything god is doing then what you will do you will blame the person say i am i am doing i am doing business business was going on very nicely but partner cheated me partner did this thing that thing that way we blame partner we blame any person but in reality <coughs> If you want to understand reality, God is also not doer, and you are also not doer. But don't tell this thing outside. So outside, if you say God is not doer, so his belief is in God. His belief that God is doing everything. So he will say, he will say, he will say, he will speak. that everything is in god's hands but whatever he speaks he don't believe with be- him come on he will tell that everything is in, in god's hands but if somebody will insult then he will say what oh, that person insulted me i will see him means you want to see god happen you want to see that you want to take revenge from that person but when it is in god's and you believe that it is in god's hands why you should take revenge from the person so what we speak we don't believe within Help me understand. What we speak, we don't believe. We speak one thing: that God is doing everything. Then other, on other side, we blame other person. So what we speak, we don't believe with it. So it's a contradiction. It's a contradiction. And in religion, on path of liberation, if contradiction is there, you can't progress. Okay. If contradiction is there, you can't progress. simple thing so go on asking questions help you understand yes. i told you at that time that who is governing this world the world is governed by scientific circumstances evidences now you remember vyavasthit shakti scientific circumstances evidences until now we are thinking that oh, i am doing everything or god is doing everything no it's just scientific circumstances evidences when all the evidences all favorable evidences get together then and only then any event can happen so here you are also not there if it is in your hands then you don't need circumstances Bharat, today you are here. Hmm. Chintan call you, message you that today so sang is there, and you do come. And your desire is also there, so you say okay, I will come. So what you will feel? You will feel that it is, it was my desire, and I went there. You will say like that. Yeah. But. even if your desire is there 
but you are occupied in some work in the office, some overtime or something like some important work, or some social work, or say your health is not good, then it's possible that even if it is your sincere desire, you can't attend person. So it is governed by circumstances. <coughs> It is not in your hands. And God is also there. God is there. But the position of God is higher than the we think is a doer. Mm. He is not doer. God is there in the very presence of God. Everything is going on. If God is not there, nothing will happen. <coughs> but still, God is not involved in anything. Then what, huh? then what is the role of God? Huh? Then what is the role of huh? Then why God is there? Why, then why God is existing? <laughs> Very good question. Sindar Prasa, how is it? If God is not doing anything, why need we need this? <laughs> then why is existing? What is the need of the God? <laughs> Correct. You say if outside dark is there, it's dark. Say in the night, night, and it is dark, and we are sitting in the room. Then, under this light, we can do satsang. We can do party, even if one can fight also, one can shout also. Say, in the night, in the room, somebody shoots somebody, and then the, when the police will come, the what police will, police will catch this light? Okay, because you gave the light and that person shoot him, so you are responsible. Same, but if light is not there, he can't do anything in the darkness. If light is not there, even we can't do, our discussions can't be there. If light is not there, even you can't do party. So light is there, in the very presence of light, all types of activities are going on. But light is not at all involved in anything. Same way, in the very presence of God, everything is going on. But God is not involved in anything. You know, in chemistry, there are some reactions so for, for oxygen, how to, the, in that uh, and catalyst is there. So if catalyst is there, in the presence of catalyst, the reaction will take place. But catalyst will remain as it is, it will not change. Same way in the very presence of God, everything is going on, good, bad, everything. But God is not at all involved. So what is the function of God? What is the inherent nature of the God? One thing, God is permanent. And all other things are temporary. Correct? So this Bharat is temporary, that you can understand, because we know that our lifespan is there, say about 100 years, or they find some good new, like if they do some new research and find something, it can be in case of 200, 300 years. But still, it is limited. So Bharat is temporary, and the pure soul within, the God within, is permanent. So in the very presence of that God, if that presence of God is there, Bharat can do all activities. And if that God is not there, it will be, one will say, oh, it's a dead body. Simple thing. So, what God is doing, The nature of the God, inherent nature, Sabha, Bhagwan ka Sabha, 
is permanent bliss and gata dashta knower and seer of everything all the circumstances so when you are knower and seer you will feel happy say you are on long drive <coughs> and you are sitting in the car not doing any other activity what you will do you will see outside in <coughs> outside trees and all that thing so the trees will come and go will come and go will come and go you will not stuck everywhere you are moving and your eyes also moving so your so all the scenes outside is moving so you simply remaining nor and seer of all the situation you are not attached to any situation you are not attached to any situation so you will feel happy so god is like that god is simply nor and seer of everything so god has function he is remaining in his pure soul state and uh, permanent bliss and permanent bliss param anand permanent happiness is the nature of the god so he will always remain in that nature so all the activities are done in the very presence of god but god is not at all in one same way the other person doing any activity he is also doing that activity in the very presence of god <coughs> god is not involved in that thing so sometimes people will ask god is there then till then why that war is going on why this violence is going on why that thing is going on oh god is there but god is not involved in anything if all these things are in god's hands then god will give happiness to everybody simple thing god is always impartial clear god is always impartial god can can't be partial say you are worshiping uh, ram and by chance you enter some lord krishna temple and you will pray there and then you will ask lord krishna please give me the blessings so my all these problems are solved my financial problems are solved my health problems are solved then what lord krishna will tell tell you he will tell you like that that you are worshiping ram you go to ram why you are coming to me <laughs> then he is not god because god is always impartial so that god is always impartial so if god is doing everything if god is <coughs> giving you happiness and unhappiness then he will give happiness to everybody without any discrimination papi or punsali bhakt or is so god is there but god is not involved in anything i open clear now don't blame anybody you want ha you want and first thing don't don't blame <coughs> file number 2 that's the big thing you remember file number 2 yeah, no. so why is it not here no she's not here uh, did you Second, young baby, just mm-hmm. two months. What do you remember that? I have five number two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, you have to settle all files amicably. So you are settling file one, file number two amicably. Oh. No, <laughs> just keep. Yeah, you are trying. No, correct. You are trying is good. Amuk lokan file to cover na thei thei. Pajapur naan naal yar pajapur na. So go on asking me question. This is an interactive type question, uh, session, session. So anything you want to ask, you can. You feel free. Guruji, 
इवन यू कैन आल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम हम्म हम गुरु जी टेल अस सम स्ट्रेस रिलीफिंग टेक्निक्स लाइक इफ यू आर इन स्ट्रेस व्हाट नीड्स टू डू इफ यू आर इन एंगर लेट्स टेक वन एट अ टाइम और दीज आर द टू थिंग्स दैट वी आर आई feel like i need some guidance no for you very simple for you and you very very simple why simple because you know that i am pure soul mai shuddha atma hu that awareness is there so whenever stress is there ja, what do you have first thing upesh upesh wo naam thoda alag tha us samay bhi yaad nahi rehta tha so just you you can you are you are pure soul upesh is separate from you and that thing you have now the realization you have that i i am pure soul i am suddhatma and upesh is separate from me upesh is file number 1 so when upesh is in tension in stress at that time just talk with the upesh upesh okay you are in tension you are in stress the auto situation is such so you are in stress but i am with you why you are worried because you are about a permanent happiness the pure soul is a pure soul you are about a permanent happiness so just talk with the upesh Okay, whatever the situation is there, whatever the circumstances are there, because of that you are you are under stress. But all these circumstances, by default, they are going to change. You don't need to change it. By default, it is ever changing. All the circumstances are ever changing. They are temporary. Circumstances are temporary, and you are permanent. so just talk with upesh like that and ta uh, third agni avyavasthit shakti jagat niyanta vyavasthit shakti means the world is governed by only scientific circumstances and evidences so before you were upesh now you realize no i am pure soul mai shuddha atma hu so just remember uh, now if when you can't remain separate you talk with upesh so immediately you will be separated and when we talk with the upesh upesh will become normal and normality is the essence of life simple very simple technique for you for bharat is different thing. Why for Bharat is different? Because you realize now you have that <coughs> clear distinction that no, I am I am not Upes, I am pure soul. Yeah, same with the Bharat as well, like no. then Bharat soul. No, but that he he has not realized that thing. You attended Dhan Vidhi, he was not having that scope. Yeah. So after Dhan Vidhi, it is very simple. For everybody, it is very simple. And before that, I have to explain him a lot, and then he will have to start applying that thing, and he will come out. But for I open, if I say one one sentence, two sentence, everything will be clear. But he will understand. He will like it. He will think over oh, correct. But he will have to apply it and you have to just understand it and everything will be clear it's a big difference but why i am i'm telling like this because at present your belief is there that i am bharat bharat and really speaking bharat is the name given to you and when you say my name 
my name is Bharat. That means it's a name given to you, not your true self. The name given to you just for identification, just for these worldly dealings. But you consider it real. Actually, what happened when you, you are born, they gave you name, Bharat, and they all say Bharat, Bharat, Bharat. So initially you are not responding when somebody will say Bharat, Bharat, but slowly, slowly, that belief will be created that, oh, I am Bharat, oh, I am Bharat. And that belief will grow. And now it has grown to that extent. It's very difficult to fracture it by yourself. You can't fracture your belief now. But it's a belief. And that belief also, not original, it's created belief. Created. Instead of Bharat, they will give you some another name, then your belief will be for that name. Bharat naam diya, Lakshman diya, the Lakshman ho jate hai. So, simple thing that you will say that my name is Bharat and when you say my name that means it is your name not your true self when you say my name means its name given to you it's your name not you because if we if you try to understand, I and my, I and my can't be one. I and my are always separate. My means something which is in your possession. So possessor and possession, both things are different. So here also I and my, you say my name. So I am Bharat is a first wrong belief because you are not Bharat, but you have created, that, developed that belief. Then this first wrong belief is there. Many other wrong beliefs will be attached to you. Like I am, <coughs> I am 40 years old. I am from Bangalore. I am from this town, then uh, I, am, I am son of my father, I am uh, father of my son, I am some sort, somebody's brother, sister, somebody's brother, somebody's uncle, somebody's friend. I studied this much, I am, I am engineer, I am doctor, like that. So all that wrong, subordinate wrong beliefs will be attached to you when your first wrong belief is there, that I am Bharat. So, we say the belief of doership. What is that belief of doership? Really speaking, you are not doer, but you believe that you are doer. Really speaking, scientific circumstantial evidences are doer, but you think, no, I am doer. That is ignorance. And to be very precise, self-ignorance. So what is egoism? Egoism is nothing but self-ignorance. Means you are not knowing your true self and your belief, your firm belief, your staunch belief is in Bharat. So that is egoism. Not, not like that okay, some person say, <coughs> He came here and in three, four days he had a lot of money and his behavior and everything will change and we will say now he has a lot of ego. That is gross ego, outer ego, outer ego. And in spiritual language, ego is 
something means you are not seated on your chair but you are, you are sitting on somebody else chair that is ego you so you say that is true that you are pure soul but you are not sitting on pure soul chair you are sitting on the chair of bharat so that is ego you so when you when somebody fractures this wrong belief that i am bharat and said the right thing that i am pure soul then your egoism will go which egoism subtle egoism the subtle egoism which is responsible for charging new karmas the subtle egoism which is responsible for charging new punya and pap karma so when that subtle egoism is gone then you will not charge any punya karma or pap karma and uh, whatever the stock of the karma is there you have to either enjoy it or suffer it pap pap you have to suffer and punya you have to enjoy it. but after realizing this thing you will you your subtle egoism is gone so you are not adding any pap or punya karma then what will happen whatever your stock is there slowly slowly it will diminish into zero so when there is no stock of punya or pap you will get liberated very very simple thing so as far as pap and punya is there to enjoy or suffer that thing you have to take new birth so cycle of birth and death death and birth will continue and as a human being basically we are indian as a indian the ultimate goal of our life is to realize who am i if you realize that goal then your life is successful otherwise say you did a lot of business you earn a lot of money you feel that i am happy you help so many people but because of that you will get punya karma mm. but the goal of your human life is not achieved have fun you want to ask me anything not now not now so after everybody will go <laughs> पंजाबी है पंजाब सब एक ही है When something wrong happen, we disturb very easily. How that happen? Hmm. So when something right happens, we get elevated. Exactly. Yes. And that's why when something wrong happens, at that time we get depressed. Because we are in the doership. That's why. In both the things. we become doer yes so as far as you are doer it will have it will affect you now so we are on the wrong side hmm yes can you explain then we are on the wrong seat someone hmm. else ah wrong seat <laughs> you say when something good happens for something bad happens <coughs> sleepy mm-hmm. 
we get elevated but when we get elevated when we have feeling of happiness so in this world all living beings all living without any exception all living beings they are seeking for happiness yes correct now they don't know where the happiness is there so they see outside if outside i will say oh this scotland is good place to live i will be very happy in india i am I, I, i will not feel that much happy so i will have that i will i will develop that belief of happiness of staying here and when that belief is there and i will come here i will stay here and i will feel happy but some other person but some other person who don't like this cold climate yes his belief will be different why you are here ha huh. he say why i am here <laughs> yes he will not feel happy so happiness is of two types one permanent happiness and one temporary happiness and for temporary happiness for one happiness all person they are having different belief yes how how temporary happiness is created we we say all the material and after seeing the all the outside things we will develop one opinion that this thing will make me happy that thing will make me happy that thing will make me happy yes. so this relative happiness relative happiness also known as temporary happiness temporary so just i am giving you one example this i am giving you one example what is temporary happiness what is permanent happiness and really how how we can define temporary happiness say say we both are hungry and somebody will offer us pizza and you like pizza and i don't like pizza at all i think what is this it's a sticky sticky on this day something to eat so we both are hungry and when somebody will offer pizza you will be very happy and same pizza even if i am hungry i will not taste it even okay i'll get it don't understand this now when you eat pizza you will feel happy yeah but you also know it's a temporary happiness after sometimes again you will be hungry mm. but now just to understand how this temporary happiness you have belief within that pizza is tasty pizza is yummy so when somebody will offer you pizza you are hungry and somebody will offer you pizza you will be very happy but i don't have that belief so i will not be happy so pizza that material that thing is making me happy if the thing is making you happy if money is making you happy or pizza is making you happy then everybody should be happy but really speaking the thing is not making you happy but your own belief in that thing that this thing will make me happy because of your own belief you will feel happy and unhappy simple thing so all temporary happiness is belief based happiness not really existing 
If it is really existing, then everybody will be happy. Bharat, you understand? Yeah. So, so, sometimes that type of situation is there. Just talk with yourself and change your belief. And you will feel happy. And real happiness is permanent happiness. This temporary happiness is depending on the circumstances. It's depending on the situation. And permanent happiness is your own nature. So any at any place, at any time, you will feel that happiness. Like uh, say ice is there. The inherent nature of ice is cold. So that ice is in the home, in the freeze, or outside, or <coughs> below the sun. All the time it will remain cold. Same way, the permanent happiness, the real happiness, is the inherent nature of the pure soul. And when it is unveiled, then you don't need any circumstances to enjoy that happiness. Aapko sohn mein? Hum bolte hai vina se sukh, temporary happiness, vina se sukh, vina se sukh bolte hai. But aisa lagega? Par paisa aega to sukh nahi lagega. If you will get increment, you will always, you will feel, definitely you will feel happy. Say you are doing business and you get jackpot, some good business deal. Then you will be very happy. You can't say it's a temporary happiness. You will feel happy. But when you taste the real happiness, this temporary happiness or unhappiness will not affect you. So that Sara Jagat Vina Se Sukke Piche Dodrai. The whole world they are running after temporary happiness. Because they see outside, they see oh the person is having a lot of money, so he's happy. The person is having good building, good house, oh he's happy. The person is having good car, he is happy. The person is having good business, he is happy. The person is doing some social work and everybody gives him, everybody gives him respect. Also he is happy. So his belief of happiness is also changing. Belief of happiness is also changing. So when, when Tarun is studying, you are studying in which class? Test 3. 10th hmm? class. So when he is in 10th, he will have that thing, if I will get good number, good percentage, I will be happy. But after his study will come and he is doing job, at that time the same thing will remain? No, it will change. His belief of happiness will change. So whole world is after temporary happiness which is not really existing, which is just belief based. But as they are not knowing the real happiness, they have never tasted the real happiness. So as per situation, they will learn after that happiness, that happiness, this happiness, like that. So simple example if I give. If you, if I gave you some... Uh, Gulab Jamun, and then I will give you tea, then what will happen? Do you not have the taste of the tea? Same way, when you taste the permanent happiness, the real happiness, then all this relative happiness will remain. It will remain there. But you will enjoy that permanent happiness, not enjoy that. So that thing will remain. 
you will drive car you will live you will live in a big house you will have a good bank balance everything will be there but only thing the belief of happiness will be hey pan samajh bhai so you can earn money there is no problem but your belief will be there that when i am remaining i am pure soul state i am most happy that thing that that realization will be there पूछो आगे समझ में आया क्लियर हुआ नहीं पंजाबी है तो हिंदू पंजाबी की सिख पंजाबी हिंदू ये पूछने की जगह है जो भी पूछता है सब पूछ लेना आप भी पूछ लेना गुरु जी व्हाई वी फील सम टाइम मींस अनसिक्योर एंड लोनलीनेस दो वी हैव एवरीथिंग या यू से सम बेसिक थिंग ऑल द पीपल एट डिफरेंट फेज ऑफ हिज लाइफ स्पैन फील्स इनसिक्योर एंड लोनली and uh, out of india that feeling is more yeah. out of india that feeling is more and because of that many people have even depression depression mm. you see here the, here the situation in india we are born and brought up in a very active social life we are attached with so many people so many our 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 cousins our uncles aunties friends relatives <coughs> we are attached with them and we are very social when we are here we feel we are segregated <coughs> and that insecurity feeling as far as the belief we are kya aapka naam shobha shobha as far as that belief is that that i am shobha then that insecurity feeling is always there even <coughs> some military major is there military captain is there he will also have that insecurity feeling and that's why people are trying to be more social and at old age <coughs> they feel more insecure they will feel that oh i am now we are alone i know one person <coughs> from india he went to us he put long back he earned a lot of money then he built a good house <coughs> at very good location about eight bedrooms big house then he retired so sometime for some time he stayed in the same house <coughs> now his children they completed their study and their for job they went to different city <coughs> then they got married and they settled in different cities 
So in that big house, only that two are remaining, staying. And children, once in a year, for two, three days, they will come and visit. For one week. The whole year, they have to stay alone. So, they thought, now what to do? It's very difficult to manage this big house. So, they went in, they purchased one new, one new small house with four bedrooms. Small, so they can maintain it. When I met his son, what he told me, because it was very difficult to sell that big house. Small house will go easily, but the big house, big price, it will, small people can buy it. He was telling me, I still I don't understand why my daddy brought this big house. So I mean, his father ko bade house me happiness like this. And his son, actually he has to enjoy it, but he can't enjoy it. His belief is, oh, why, why it's such a big house? So, your, your line of thinking and your children's line of thinking, because of gender some gap, will be not in parallel. So, who has to adjust? You have to adjust. Your children will not adjust. So if you adjust, if you adjust, then you will not feel lonely. If you adjust with the situation, then you will not feel insecure. Sometimes somebody will say, okay, we adjust so much, but they have, children will also have to adjust a little bit. But you can't expect from the children that they will adjust with you. Because the person having more understanding has to adjust first. <laughs> the person who is more smart will have to adjust first. So you need husband and wife when you have to adjust. Who has to take adjustment first? Why? Why will say why? <laughs> husband say yes. So yeah, can't speak. I can't speak. Sita to the So you and my husband and wife both think that I am more smart, I am more intelligent. Yes. Even say, husband has studied more, then also the wife will think, I am more smart, I am more intelligent. He knows only his life. Other things, he don't know anything. Mm -hmm. yes. He don't know how to run house. Even he don't know how to keep house clean. Yes. So, that belief that I am smarter, I am intelligent is always there. Yes. So, what Dada Bhavan is saying, so when there is a, there is a fight between a difference of opinion between husband and wife. Who has to take adjustment first? The one who is more intelligent, the one who is more smart. <laughs> then what will happen? You will have a competition to take first adjustment. <laughs> and when that type of competition is there, your house, your home will become heaven. Healthy competition. Anything you want to ask, you can ask me to ask you to ask me 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 to
फिर टाइम तो पूरा करना पड़ेगा मुझे कोई बात नहीं चलो यू कैन ऑल्सो आसो नो प्रॉब्लम जॉइन टेन सो यू कैन आस्क सो मेनी क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज योर गोल हां हां हैव अ क्वेश्चन ओह गुड आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड द द प्योर सोल कांसेप्ट आई एम ट्राइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट इन माय लाइफ यू नो इनसाइड माय हाउस इज फाइन बट आउटसाइड माय हाउस यू नो वी हैव टू मीट मेनी पीपल who don't know this concept yeah the people they are showing their anger to me they are trying to oh, cheat me oh oh simple yeah open simple yeah. thing in your house you keep patience in your house you keep peace yeah. outside you have all right to lose your temper okay <laughs> okay the outsider they will give you they are like cash bank they will immediately give you result Yeah, I can't think they are pure soul, you know. So no, no, not pure soul. What I am telling you, in your house, in your home, you don't lose your temper. Mm-hmm. Even if your wife say anything, she speaks something that hurts you, mm-hmm. or she don't care, don't care for you. She will care only for children, not care for you. Mm-hmm. Then also don't lose your temper. Right. And outside your right to lose your temper. Hey, but understand you? You understand? Now, now let let's go in detail. You say outside is difficult to control anger. It's not anger only. <laughs> so different people, different situation. You know. So we have to meet many people. Someone coming to cheat me. You know. I can't think them. They are pure soul. They are not doing it. साइंटिफिक He is not independent to cheat you. In this world, nobody is independent to do anything independently. Means nobody is ho- nobody is independent to all. Everybody is instrumental. But you have full right to protect yourself. If somebody is cheating you, you have full right to protect yourself. Acting is there. There is. There is. आपको पूरा right है. But outside, just keep in your mind that I want to settle this fight amicably, without attachment and arrogance. You understand? Yes. All, all the, all the person you are meeting, they are your files. Files means accounts of the past month, either credit or debit. So some debit account will be there. They will try to cheat you, and you are smart, so you will understand. Oh, he is cheating me. But when you think he is cheating me, you will see him as a doer. So the account will be not settled amicably. So at that time, have that awareness that after all, is a pure soul, and this file, this file is trying to cheat me, but it is not independent. It is governed by scientific circumstances, evidences. So you will not see him doer, and when you will see, no, you will not see him as a doer. immediately you will have peace within but as far as you are seeing him as a doer you will have oh i will also see him the revenge feeling i will so i may bhi unko bata dunga chhodunga
and uh, you see all these files they are not coming to you abruptly your past account is there that's why they are coming to you some past account is there you don't know what account you created in the past but from the result you can understand that he is treating me some negative and some debit account and somebody is helping you some credit account is there both place you have to settle that file amicably just keep this thing in your mind <coughs> and you have full right to protect yourself You know that you have full right to protect yourself. You can protect because <clears throat> this is your starting point. You just realize that I am pure soul, but you have to go up to the full moon state. You know, phases of the moon. There is no moon. Then first, second, third, and up to fifteen. Fifteen is the full moon. So this is the first phase. But you have to go up to the full moon stage, that state. So at present, you have right to protect yourself. But without seeing the other person culprit, without seeing other person doer, and with the awareness that after all, he is pure soul. Simple, like that you go ahead. And you will you will enjoy. You will be able to see everybody's nature, and you will enjoy. Because the person's nature, prakriti, what is that? It is of the past. Carry forward, past. Prakriti means created in the past. And now it is exhausting. Now it is exhausting. Now it is discharged. It was charged in the past birth, and now it is discharging. So discharge is not in your control. The person who is treating you is not in your in his control. Because it's a discharge. So that way you you will be able to see him. As a innocent, not doer, and so then for the public people, you know, so public, you know, like uh, politicians, the dictators, they are doing it for the public. Mm. It's not my single file, my own file. Mm. They are doing harm for the whole society. Mm. So whose file is that? No, the <coughs> well, the dictator or the other people, politician, and they are. So they are doing harm to the people. Still, it's happening, you know. So huh, because that, that that accounts is there with everybody. Your files are limited. Your files, your family, your colleagues, your relatives. Some say you are more social. The five hundred, four hundred, and <coughs> this politician, they are in more files. Trump, eh? Hey. So there are so many people. Emotionally connected with him, <coughs> either positively or negatively. So he is having more files, but you don't have more files. Whatever, whoever meets you and they are trying to help you or cheat you, they are your files. And uh, when you settle these files, you have, you have fifty, sixty files. If you can settle these files amicably, with equanimity, then what will happen? You will settle that file, so your your accounts is settled, no debit, no credit. Then when all files are settled, you will be liberated. So you have to settle that file amicably, not for them, because you want liberation. You are not obliging them, so that right? yes. 
अच्छा वो पूछ लिया अच्छा किया अच्छा You want to ask anything? आपको कुछ पूछना है? हाँ. You want to ask me anything? Not much. Uh, I, uh, I used to list a lot of things, so, so I understand what you are telling me. So it is. If you get anger, it will kill you. So why to get anger? No, what I, I told him. Okay. Just keep your house clear. Yeah. Outside you are right. But generally we Indian people, we serve in the house. Outside we are good people. <laughs> Outside everybody is a very nice fellow. He is a gentleman. He is helping everybody. And in house, if you are in home, you will ask. The wife will say, he don't have any time for any working. In the home, you will ask. Yeah. So my tea, my phone, everything. He is not there. Yeah. 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 And outside, if anybody has any problem, he will run. In midnight also, he will run. So we are good. We are good outside, but we are not good at home. Yes. <coughs> That's why I told him: you just keep good, keep patience, keep peace in the house. Outside, you are right. Where outside, he will deal with the people with anger and all that thing. What will happen? He will suffer, so he will realize, oh, this is mistake. But at home, if he shout his wife, then she will bear, she will not retaliate. So she, he will think, oh, it's my right. So first, you have to conquer your own house. You have to get certificate from the family members, and first wife and from wife or husband. आपको तो अच्छा है वो दे देंगे, आपको तो दे देंगे, सरे में दे देंगे ना, अभी तो देना ही पड़ेगा सबके सामने देना ही पड़ेगा। लास्ट टाइम एक डॉक्टर आए थे ना आपको क्या है व्हाट इज योर फर्स्ट टीम your name? Magindra. Magindra. Good name, Magindra. Yes, something new. Now, for me, it's a unique name. New name. And last time, like doctor, I was. I didn't know that. Be doctor. Yes. Last year also you came. Yeah, yeah, he was here. Whole whole family was here. Just take. Ah, no problem. Jai Sachidan. Jai Sachidan. Jai Sachidan. Jai Sachidan. Jai Sachidan. So have fun. Don't forget, huh? Okay. Don't shout at home. <laughs> shout outside. <laughs> but generally, they say South Indian people, they 
North Indian people, they are um, men dominated. Men is always dominating. I have to say that I have to say that I have to say now situation is changing. No, no, no. <laughs> it has, you see, all the situations are temporary, ever changing. <laughs> yeah. But in South India, they have good respect for tradition. So, Magadha, go on asking. We have still time. You can ask questions. Huh? You are, when you are here, you must ask. Yeah. Somehow you can answer. Huh? You can also ask. Huh? Well, when I came to your house, you asked me. Uh, he asked me so many things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. So before you came, we talk about happiness. So I said there are two types of happiness. One temporary happiness and one permanent happiness. Temporary happiness, when we see outside and we see all the things, materials, by seeing that thing, we develop that belief of happiness in temporary things. And all temporary happiness are belief-based happiness. So if you want to be happy in your life, you want happiness. So wherever you feel unhappy, just change your belief and you'll, you'll, feel, you'll be happy. Simple thing. And if you want permanent happiness, one must realize it's to yourself. Then you will get permanent happiness. So, simple example I'm giving. Say you have headache and you have some work also. So what do you feel? Oh, I am headache, I can't do work you will feel unhappy. At that time, just tell Magendra, there are only, only headache. Your, pain, your legs are not paining, your back is not paining, everything else is good. So only one problem is there. So why do why you have worried? Go ahead. Like that, if you talk, then Magendra's belief will change. Oh, I have only headache, nothing else. So in all situations, if you want to remain happy, just change your belief and you will be happy. Sometimes say, <coughs> you came here and you are looking for the house and you are not getting house off as per your design. Then whatever the house you have to select, you select it. But Within that thing is given, okay, this house is not good, this house is not good, this house is not good. His washrooms are not enough, but the bedroom is not enough big. The drawing room is like this, that. So, even if you are staying in that house, you will not feel happy. And when you are not feeling happy, your efficiency to work will reduce. Your efficiency to work will reduce. So what to do at that time? Just tell yourself, okay, bedroom is not good, but uh, when I am in bedroom, most of the hours my eyes are closed. You are not seeing how much bedroom is there, how decorative is there, how nice is there. Even if you are sitting in the sofa, in drawing room, then also you will have the same sleep. Once you sleep, then outside nothing that matters. That way you have to talk with your mind. So slowly, slowly it becomes positive. So your attitude will change. 
your attitude will change. Even say lunch, dinner, your food. Sometimes it may happen that you will not get the food of your choice. Then what to do? You have to eat it. Now when you, you are eating it with unhappiness, it will create more problem, more health problem. You are eating food, but you are you think, oh, this is not tasty, I don't like this, I don't like that. Then what will happen? Even because you are hungry, you will eat something. But it will not give the positive effect to your body. So there also you have to change your attitude. You have to tell your mind that when we are going outside in hotel, restaurant for lunch or dinner, at that time we get new variety. Variety different from our own house. So we enjoy it. Same thing here, it's not food of your choice, so it's a different variety, new variety. Enjoy it. Then you will feel happy because everybody has to develop his taste. They say, just talk with your mind like this. Your attitude will change. And slowly, slowly you will feel happy in adverse circumstances also. And when you realize yourself, you will even happy in all type of situations. Even in extreme adverse situation, you can even happy after realizing to yourself. When once that awareness is there, then no, I am pure soul, I am pure soul. But till that, talk with your mind. And don't break it, bend it. Manko ka nahi hai, unko samjhane ka hai, convince ka nahi. उत्ते जाओ, <coughs> फिर टाइम हो जाए, कल तो फिर कल नहीं है, नंदी ने आपका कुछ पूछता नहीं है, you don't want me, you don't want to ask anything, तो बच्चों का संभाल लिया, अभी फ्री हो गए तो पूछ लो, Well, there are so many people, they are expert in taking uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <coughs> the, They are not doing, but they are expert in taking credit. Hmm. So... You feel low, that's the thing. Like, uh, you, like if, uh, naturally, since I am a woman, like, I'll bring somehow that to the family. Like, uh, the emotion 
emotional thing. So, yeah. No, correct. You see, in team also, there are so many people. Somebody will work sincerely, work hard. And somebody will just time pass. Okay, wow, everybody is doing and I am also going to get credit. Mm. Same way some colleagues are there. You work hard and they represent everything and they take credit. So presentation power and they get chance to present. And when they present, they present as if they did everything. So when you get chance, at that time just present, not like that, that I did all that thing. My team members and all that collective did that thing. So automatically the person will understand who is after this thing. But here your ego is clashing with that other person. Okay, I am doing all these things and he is taking credit. So you will feel low, you will feel depressed. Now, if you nurture your egoism, then also you will not be benefited. So if you, if you want to be happy and if you want to progress, then you give credit to your subordinates. So you will win their hearts and that will reflect on the boss. He will come to know. But all these things, there is a, there is a time gap, lag time, lag time. You start the activity and the result will come, that lag time is there. So during that late time, you will have to keep patience. Yeah. It's a simple, it's a really simple. But instead of taking credit by yourself, just give credit to your subordinates. So even that person will think, oh, I am taking credit, but she is not offending. So he's not doing anything and says so giving credit to other people. So he will also feel guilty with him. On path of religion, those who are enlightened, their vision is opposite to the worldly vision. As per worldly vision, if you are passing in this type of situation, then you have to prove yourself, you have to defend yourself, you have to tell your boss like that. But spiritual path is tensionless, worryless, but still you will get all benefits. Uh, just give credit to your subordinates fully and automatically that thing will reach to the boss. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> You want to ask anything? Hmm. But you remember all that thing? I am pure soul and everything, yeah. all that thing. Hmm. But uh, daily you are practicing that first two agnas to no. buy relative point and buy real view point. Not every day, but. Uh, uh, Not every day. Yeah. Uh, but uh, once in a week. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Hmm. It's a program like that. Hmm. Huh. You're an IT person, you have to program like that. <laughs> <laughs> program yourself. Yeah. Huh.
program for yourself. But that awareness is there, that I am pure soul. Yeah. If somebody hurts you, somebody insults you, somebody obstructs you, at that time, that awareness will come automatically. And in other case, you have to put your efforts. In normal things, you have to put your efforts. But one thing is there. Once that awareness is there, that no, I am pure soul, I am pure soul. If something good happened by you, something good you have done, done by you, at that time the awareness is even, oh, I am pure soul. And this is scientific circumstances, evidences. Then, then what will happen? <coughs> you will, you will have more and more, you will, you will remain seated on pure soul state. Pure soul state, more time during the whole day. And that way, you will progress fast. So, what I want to say, simply you have this awareness, is your 50% work is done. And remaining 50%, you have to achieve that by remaining in that five agnas. By relative and, what's your name? Surendra. Surendra. So, by... Relative viewpoint, I am surrender. By real viewpoint, I am pure soul. Then you are pure soul. Then who will govern this surrender's mind, speech, and body? Scientific circumstances and evidences. Then you are pure soul. Surrender is file number one. Why file number two? Now you, what you have to do? You have to settle all the files. Because file means you have some credit or debit account with that person. They are all files. So the world population is about 750 million. You are not having account with the whole world. You have account with some 50, 100, 200, 500 people. And that also 500 people, the near one, closest one, say wife, father, mother, brother, sister, some four, five files, they are very sticky. So if you can settle that files amicably, then you are free. So moksha is not far, only you settle this file. So you have to settle files amicably because you want liberation. For your liberation you have to settle file, not you are obliging that person. And then fifth, now we are pure soul, your new account has started. So you have to create something in that account. And for that I gave you that PDF file and all that thing. You are reading it? Yeah. Oh, good. That's good. And that that you that chant also Dada Bhavan Asin Jai Kao. Sounds good. Hmm. That Kirtan Bhakti. Second, second child. Yeah, two months old. Two months old. Son, son, son. Because the old house was there, the old house was there. It was open. 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 It was it was not Pajasana. Pajasana was not Pajasana. Ah, before Pajasana. I'm great. So why your file number two is not coming here? Taking care of baby. Yeah, it's been training. It's been training. It's been training. Yeah. Everybody. That's why it's a bit late. It's been training. To bring everybody. Yeah, it's fine. Unko bhi hai. She is also feeling um, happy. Yeah, yeah. She is also having that awareness, I am pure soul. Yeah. Oh, good. You came last time. Ah. Yeah, last time. Mm -hmm. I remember last time. Mm -hmm. Last time, mm -hmm. The first time all, all gents and second time all ladies like that. <laughs>
last time I settled claim. <laughs> because after Gyan Vidhi, they were telling me, okay, you gave this, uh, this uh, initiation to all the uh, gents, and what is our mistake? Mm -hmm. So their claim was there. See, I got another question. Yeah, please. So, you might ask now this news, right? Like, all these child abuse, all these, recently the doctor been harassed in the hospital. Ah. These things are happening hmm. more in India. Hmm. The people keep doing that anyway. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, the police and courts are there anyway, but they'll find some other way to get out of it. And then they live happily, like, did nothing like that. Hmm. So, do they get any punishment or anything like that? Like spiritually or anything? Spiritually, spiritually, socially is different thing. Hmm? As per the laws of the nation, the person will be punished. It's a one thing. Spiritually, is adding new karma in his karmic account. And all in all the, this type of such things, what you can do, you can only pray God. If this type of uh, bad things, violence should not be there. Say in Russia the war is going on. What you can do here? What you can do sitting here? Nothing. But you can pray God. Your prayer will reach. Say in your family, in your family in India, somebody is sick. What you can do from here? You, when you pray, your positive vibration will reach that person. And he will feel happy. So that power of prayer is there. <coughs> Otherwise, there are so many people, leaders. They are not able to do anything. They all think that they are boss of the world. They can do anything. But still they are not able to do anything. America thinks that they are controlling the world. They can't do anything. China thinks they can control. They can't do anything. So our prayer will work. And second thing, when you get emotional, you get emotional and sensitive, you can't do that thing properly. So when you have that awareness that I am pure, pure soul, your sensitivity, normality will come in the normality. Your emotionalness, that will come in normality. And slowly, slowly you become normal in all type of situation. So you will remain normal, but you will be fully aware. Fully awake, jagrat. And still you will remain normal. It's a big step. Have you asked anything you want to ask? Huh? Uh, Guruji, 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 Guruji. So, Guruji, for the child's perspective, like mm. as we are living away from India, mm. and we know our culture, our religion, they have a lot of mm. good things. Mm. But kids, they are getting away from it. <coughs> and more influenced by the culture of Scotland or anywhere they, they are correct, correct. So, <laughs> at least they have to be aware what is our religion, what's the strength. Just think but they, they, they are not listening to us. So what should we do in that case? You see, from India now you are here in the Scotland and the culture of the Scotland is altogether different from India. Yes. Even culture of the this UK side 
and London side, England, it, England side is different. <coughs> Here also different. And the environment in which they are being grown up, it will affect them. <coughs> so, <coughs> basic thing. Every year when you take vacation, take them to India. And when they will stay in India with their cousins, they will develop fast. The revolution of mind will become faster. When they are here, when they are here, what will happen? Everything is as per system. Everything is going on as per system. So they don't need to remain alert. But in India, everybody will think that how to break system and take maximum advantage. <laughs> so the revolution of mind is very fast. Excellent. Now, the faster revolution, if you synchronize that faster revolution energy in a positive way, the output will be maximum. We also try, but they are not accepting. So oh, once once they are grown up, they don't like. They feel they will feel go in India. It's very dirty, like this, like that. But uh, when when they are kids, at that time, if you take them, they will feel so happy. Oh, they will feel they will feel like freedom. In the society, in the flat, they can enter anybody's house. They can, everybody will welcome. They will not have to take permission. Okay, can I can I come to your house? Can I go there? Nothing like that. Even if somebody will say, okay, you want to come with me on scooter, they will enjoy it. Like that. But when they are here, slowly, slowly, they forget our language also. So mostly what we, what, what mistake we are doing, we speak English only. In house also, we are not speaking Hindi or our mother tongue. So that will make them more isolate from our culture. Because whenever you will go there, they will not be able to talk with your with their grandparents, uncles, aunties. So all this thing is simple thing but very necessary. Just I'm I, I'm I'm just telling you what Happy. happens. Magendra, just I'm telling you when you came from India to Scotland or say US, Europe or Canada. At that time, what you were telling, we are going there for the future of our children. Correct? Very good excuse for everybody. We are not going for ourselves, we are going for our kids, <laughs> our children. And you came here, you are better than India. Everything is correct. Your children, they are in a better environment, better, they are having better facilities, everything is correct. But what will happen for this first generation, they will remain attached to you, attached to our culture, at least 50%, 40%. Then second generation, about 10-20%. And third generation, they will become Scottish. So ultimately, you think that I will go there, will earn money, will be in a better position, but ultimately, you are total loser. Nandi, do you Ultimately, you are total loser. Then, what will happen in this situation? That you will feel that I am, your question was, Isolated, loneliness, fear of insecurity. We are, we are here, we need this, that much, so much things for our children. And now we are feeling loneliness. But in India, they are all staying together. Here, you can't expect that after marriage they will stay with you. Can you expect? Oh, you can expect. 
No, after marriage you will take care of your parents. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> they will not stay. <laughs> they will not. I they don't think stay. so. They will stay till eighteen. <laughs> you know, mm. when you are small, mm. your parents take took care of you. When you have some fever or you are not well, you are sick at that time. During night, whole night, they remain away to take care of you. Now, slowly, slowly, they will also get older, and you will also grow. Then, after some age, they will become like kids, and you will be grown up. So, at that time, you have to keep in your mind. Now, I am. They are my kids, and I am their parents. So it's my responsibility to take care of them. Before they took care of me, and now it's my responsibility to take care of them. Correct? Real, real example is here. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Guruji, real example. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Ye Guruji ki mummy. But you, you agree? Sundam Chand. Uh, Saran, do you agree that when you are young, you are small, at that time your mom take full care of you, your, your parents take care of, took care of you, and present also they are taking care of you, everything of you, your 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 clothes, your food, your health, your study, yes. your vacation. Yes. So when they become old, it's your responsibility to take care of them. When you say when you take a, say for study. Or for afterwards, you say for some business, you will take loan from the bank. So when you take loan from the bank, you repay it or not? Yes. So just think that this also a loan, and it's my responsibility to repay it. They are not asking. Bank is not asking to owe you return, but it becomes it becomes your responsibility. Correct? So just keep in your mind. <laughs> even if you, if you, if you marry Scottish girl, just keep this thing in your mind. You tell your wife. So my first priority, my parents. You understand? My first priority is my parents. Yes. I will take care of them, and I will take care of you also. And you will also have to take care of me and your parents. So this is basic thing. So then you will never then. You say then you will never feel lonely. Then you will never have depression. ये संसार में सब लोग हूँप हूँप ढूँढते हैं हूँप सब चाहे हिंदी में नहीं है समझ में परफेक्ट यू यू आर बेबी but at least you want everything from your parents correct at present. So it's your responsibility to give him everything when they are not able. At present you are not weak, you are not stand on your foot, on your feet. But when they are not able, it's your responsibility. And when you fulfill your responsibilities, then you will even happy within. Then your next generation will take care of you. Ah. <laughs> I guess. Then, then your kids will take care of you. They will see and they will take care of you. Mm. So you have to learn that thing. Just keep in your mind. I don't say that type of situation will come, but just keep in your mind. It's your responsibilities. Uh, just or my. For, with respect to that, I have one doubt though. See uh, what is it? Like we said, an example. But here we do bring our parents, but like not for long time, just for short time. But still, they are there in India. But when they are sick, like when they are totally sick, yeah, we do go. But when they are sick and when they need us, we are not able to go. Like again, like for all simple things. But still, they do need us. But at that time, we are not there. So it's like kind of a very important time we are there. So that's the example we are setting for the kids. So how do we tell them that? But still, you have to take care of us. Yes, correct. You can tell them, but because of you, I can't take care of my parents. But you remember that we took your care, so when we need, it's your responsibility. 
Mm. Well, this is situation. Situation is such that you are here and it is not possible to take break and go there. So we have to adjust with the situation. But in your mind, it should be there 100% that it's my duty. Correct? Yes. So you emphasize like we will be a total loser. Like we bring But just I am telling you what will be the result of all these things. Is it your experience like you are saying like it's a wrong step to go into the different culture? No, you can you can go you can move around all culture, but keep your culture intact. And for that first thing, your mother tongue. You teach your children, your kids, your mother tongue. Then you keep them in contact with your with your place in India. So when they are in contact with your, with their grandparents, the cousins, their uncles, aunties, it will make a lot of difference. Otherwise, uh, say after ten years you will go there, you say, oh, he is your uncle, hi uncle, that's all. He will not have anything, any feeling within, any attachment. And when, say after every one year or two years you are going there, they are remaining in contact. They will, they will develop that feeling. Chintan, Kirtan Bhakti, do you want to Kirtan Bhakti, we are going to do it. Yes, so tell us about it. Five minutes. So tell us about it. Let's go. 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 Here for me it is difficult because light is there, so I can't understand their voice too much. Sometimes I, I forget and I continue, but I have to look for the time. Come on, come on. Sit down here. Sit here. Why Sit down, sit down. So now, now what will you sing? Sorry, I am I Guruji will speak and we will just follow him. No, no. We are doing one. We are doing one kirtan bhakti. It's a Dada Bhagwana Asim Jai Jai Kar ho. Dada Bhagwan. Naam is ka. Dada Bhagwan ka Asim Jai Kar. So Dada Bhagwan. Last time also I explained. The after seeing this picture, you will feel that he is Dada Bhagwan. But A M Patel. And in 1958, at the age of 50, he got enlightenment at Sudha railway station, evening time, on platform number three. So what he says, that the, the God unveiled within me in 1958, it's a full light, he is Dada Bhagwan, and same Dada Bhagwan is within all of you, in all living beings. And uh, he said that due to this Kalyu, the full light unveiled, but I can digest only 356 degree. So to reach that full light stage, full moon stage of 360 degree, I am also worshipping the God within me. Like by speaking Dada, Bhagwana, Asim, Jai Jai Kao. It's a, you know, scriptures, they say there are nine types of bhakti worshipping. And the topmost is the para bhakti. Para bhakti means you are worshipping the God within you, is the para bhakti. So this is para bhakti. So we will chant Dada Bhagwana Asim Jai Jai Karpo. Can I have a question? Okay. I have a question.
दाता भगवान नासी मजय जयकार हो